AC Infinity has made a tremendous hit in this industry last year, and you guys, a traditional gamer, want to deep dive into the PlayStation world, using your own skills to make a sustainable income. But in order to understand the whole concept of this, firstly, you will need to have a big grasp of what is blockchain, what is cryptocurrency, because they have a really close relationship to each other. In today's video of Game Fear Army Insights, we only cover about blockchain and cryptocurrency topic in general and we will go deeply into the play to run concept in another video. So make sure to hit like and subscribe to our video channel to catch up with various inside contents about the game industry. Let's get right into it, shall we? So firstly, what is blockchain? In simple terms, blockchain is literally a chain of blocks where each block store a certain limited amount of data and they're connected into a chronological chain. When information is entered into a block, the block will be added to the chain, and this information cannot be altered by any means, which keeps the stored data completely safe from hacking activities. Everything sounds rather vague at this point, right? How exactly can blockchain guarantee a safe and accurate recording of data just like that? Let's break it down a little bit further. One of the most outstanding features of blockchain is decentralizations that function perfectly fine without the need of any third-party organizations. Imagine a central bank that keeps track of your money transactions on papers suddenly get destroyed in a hurricane, along with all its records. Now there's no way to know which money gone to whom, right? Since the records are gone now. However, that is not an issue with blockchain. Rather than having an institution that has all the information, blockchain records transactions in one device, which will be saved in every device connected to the system. Yeah, that's why blockchain is usually called a distributed ledger. Therefore, even if that one device somehow breaks, no record will be lost in the process. Moreover, most blockchain are open source, meaning any user could view the codes and activities on that blockchain network and even make suggestions to improve the system. Like we have some website like BAC Scan or EtherScan that you can research and view any transactions of that cryptocurrency or the wallet address of anyone in that network. But if the data is all over the place like that, would it become super easy target for hackers to attack? How is this safe? True, hackers can easily have access to data in the store into so many places and also it's open source. But rest assured guys, blockchain is not where hackers can thrive. We mentioned the term chain earlier, referring to the connection between blocks. That chain is actually Haskell, we have 25 characters each, and are determined by the complicated mathematical function. Think of it like this, when a transaction is made, it's recorded into block 1, with both the amount transacted and the time of transactions. A unique and randomized Haskell is created for this block by the software that uses mathematical functions. When a second transaction is made, it's recorded into block 2. But this time, the Haskell of block 2 is not randomly created. It has to be based on the previous Haskell. And this applies to all following blocks. When hackers meddle with the data store in one block, the Haskell will be altered. This will lead to the whole system being notified and disabled, as the Haskell no longer follows the pattern of the chronological chain. The only way to get away with this is to alter every single Haskell before the system updates, which is impossible. In the case of Bitcoin, the system updates every 10 minutes, and the hackers will have to change millions of Haskell within that 10 minutes. Impossible, right? In the 10 minutes, we have a really sophisticated process in Bitcoin called the proof of work, which is a consensus algorithm that secures the distributed ledger and protects the network from double spend attacks by adding new blocks of transaction to the chain and generating PC rewards. Like you might have heard about Bitcoin miners, right? They got a lot of Bitcoin miners around the world and their jobs are verifying data and transactions to add them into a block using their computer and they will get PTC as reward. Therefore, the data and transactions in the network can be secure and avoid fake double spending problems. Proof of work is a really great mechanism, but it requires lots of computer power to solve the mathematical questions. So many other blockchains nowadays like Ethereum, they use another consensus, which is a proof of stake for less energy requires, and many other new and better mechanisms. That should tell you the gifts of blockchain and how amazing the technology is. 
Everything is safely stored and easy to keep track of, while no one has to be there to monitor the work process. Given the existence of blockchain and the ultimate benefits that it brings to the table, cryptocurrency was born. You probably heard about cryptocurrency before, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, or like AC token from AC Infinity. They're all cryptocurrency, and yes, all cryptocurrency run based on blockchain, like blockchain is their fundamental core of them. A cryptocurrency is actually a form of digital cash that enables individuals to transmit value in a digital setting. It certainly appear to serve the same use cases on the surface, paying friends, making purchases from your favorite website, just like other traditional systems like PayPal or digital banking app. But that being said, they couldn't be more different. If you understand the blockchain characteristics like I have told you before, you can understand what cryptocurrency can be capable of. There is no third-party organization there to require transaction approval or free your account like your central banks or credit cards. Therefore, it's much convenient and faster for users to use crypto as a payment method. You can transfer cryptocurrency on blockchain networks to another friend at ease and there will be no privacy or anything. But remember that only on blockchain network. If you exchange cryptocurrency on crypto exchanges like Binance, FTX, they still require privacy because they are centralized organizations. You still trade and transfer on centralized platforms. And last but not least, your safety. Not only are your transactions immune to hacking activities, but your identity is also unrevealed. This is why blockchain is such a life-changing invention and cryptocurrency is a perfect use case for them. The first cryptocurrency dated back into the 90s, but the most notable one was created in 2009 by a group of coders called Satoshi Nakamoto, and that was Bitcoin. There are also other multiple blockchain platforms like Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Solana, and each of them has their own native cryptocurrency, like Ethereum will have ETH, Binance Smart Chain will have BNB, Solana will have Sol. As they follow the fundamental core of Bitcoin, all of these coins are often called own coins, like alternative coins. Nowadays, these blockchain donors just allow users to send and receive funds like Bitcoin, but to run decentralized applications using smart contracts. I won't explain deeply about smart contracts in this video due to the time limit. But if you want to learn more about this, comment below to let us know so we can make another video. So we continue, if blockchain has a bunch of decentralized projects on that ecosystem that perform an application to support users like making money, entertainments, some real use cases, and users have to use the native coins of that blockchain a gas fee. Like if you want to play the game on Binance Smart Chain ecosystem, you will need to have BNB to pay for transaction fees. So if you dive furthermore into the crypto market, you may recognize there are a bunch of blockchain ecosystems with varied projects built on that ecosystem. Each of the projects always have their own cryptocurrency called tokens. It's much different from coins, okay, as tokens can give the holder the right to participate in the network. It may perform the functions of the digital assets, represent the company share, give access to the project functionality. Like you may need these tokens in order to play the game. Why coins are act like a payment method and tied to that public blockchain, this is the coin of Ethereum blockchain. Since the birth of blockchain technology, we have seen so many ways it has been used for. With the introductions of cryptocurrency and now NFTs, different models of market have emerged. Recently, play to earn with successful projects like ACFINITY, Decentraland, or The Sandbox. ACFINITY has made the whole world crazy in the last few months, with it dizzy in growth in its user base and AC price. I will have a full detailed explanation on this model and why using blockchain in gaming is a revolution for the whole industry. The potential of blockchain isn't just evolved within the field of cryptocurrency, not just think that blockchain is only for gaming. It can be served at the middle ground in countless different assets of life. It can be stored and secure healthcare records, property ownership, votes, contract, you name it. Take Eternity for example. This project goal is to digitalize and store use will or holographic testaments and make sure their assets are maintained and distributed accordingly after their passings. You sure can tell blockchain technology holds the potential that hasn't been discovered and utilized to the fullest. Where well, is time to grab up? In the end, what are the pros and cons of blockchain? What it means for cryptocurrency? 
Firstly, it's easy to use, convenient, takes up little time, while maintaining the accuracy and security of data storage. Cryptocurrency has inherited this characteristic, and the number of crypto users are expected to increase exponentially in 2022. Global adoption may increase thanks to the increased applications on the blockchain ecosystem that bring real value to the users, especially in the blockchain gaming industry. I really believe in the bright future of crypto gaming in 2022. So what are the drawbacks? Until now, this technology, the blockchain ecosystem, only allow limited transactions at once, and it also got issues with regulations. National governments need to keep track of their currency cycle in order to sustain a stable and growing economy. Yet cryptocurrency create new currency that the government cannot control, which negatively influence national monetary system. China has prohibited the use of Bitcoin within its border as a result. So I think that's all for today. Hope you guys can have a basic understanding of what is blockchain and the cryptocurrency market. You guys now have made a first step to deep dive into the game fee industry. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for new weekly contents. I'm Adam Brown from Ganfi Army and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.